So I once again welcome you all on the session on the herbal drug technology. In this session, we are going to discuss the drug PEEPER. Maybe you are aware about the PEEPER. It is going to be said to be the Kalimiri or Pipli or the black PEEPER. It is being used in the spice, right? That is known as the PEEPER. Mainly here we are going to discuss the black PEEPER. So black pepper is one of the most commonly used spices in the world wide. Here we are using dried ripe fruits as a drug or the medicine to get the certain health benefit. So the pepper or black pepper, it is going to be obtained from dried ripe fruits of piper nigrum belonging to family so the pepper or black pepper, it is going to be obtained from dried ripe fruits of piper nigrum belonging to family piperaceae. So this is the biological source. Then the synonym, it is also known as the black pepper, kalimiri or the pip leaf. Look at the image so that you will understood how the black pepper is, looks like. This is not a dried one, but if you can see, uh, you will observe the shades of a black pepper from green to the black, right? Which are dried one. Moving towards the chemical constituents of the black pepper, so mainly it comprises one to two percent of the volatile oil. It is having a certain aroma. So the main principle is a pungent alkaloid that is a piperine. The main chemical constituent which is present in the Black pepper, which is having, uh, uh, which, uh, which is alkaloid that is known as the piperine. And piperine shows most of the drug interactions with the certain drugs, right? It occurs in four isomers, such as the piperine, isopiperine, then the cavicine, and the isocavicine. It contains the sarmenine, sarmentosine, limonine. Camphene, cinnamic acid, benzaldehyde, and the eugenol. These are the some of the other chemical constituents which are present in the pepper. Let us move towards the health benefits and uses of the pepper. As in the whole worldwide, we are using the black pepper as a spice or in the spices, right? So it is going to be used in the hay fever, asthma, or the stomach upset. Furthermore, it is having an ability to kill the fungi and it is going to act as an antifungal. It is going to be used, if it is given orally, it is going to be used to kill the sudden parasites. Then, uh, as I have said that, it contains mainly the piperine, which is having an ability to increase the absorption of the mini drug. So it is going to be used as a viability enhancer in the formulation. Then it is going to be used in the degenerative brain diseases, say for example, Alzheimer's disease. It is going to act as antihypertensive. It is going to be used as a, an antioxidant in various conditions like inflammation, premature aging, heart diseases, and the sudden cancers. It is having the ability to lower the sugar level. So it is going to be used as an antidiabetic. And also it is going to reduce the levels of the cholesterol. It is going to be used as an anti-cancer. It is having the ability to reduce the pain and it is going to act as an analgesic. Also, it is a, going to reduce the inflammation and going to act as an anti-inflammatory. It is having an antispasmodic property. Along with, it is going to boost the immunity. And it is going to be used as immunomodulator in the various diseases. Furthermore, it is going to promote the gut health and it reduces the appetite, which helps to reduce the weight. So these are the sudden uses or the health benefits of the people. Moving towards the side effects, as everyone of you have seen the black people, isn't it? Always, always we are not consuming the heavily the black people, isn't it? Due to their taste and so on. So, uh, it is going to show the certain side effects like a burning after test, 
upset the stomach and uh, cause stuff. So these are the three major side effects of the people. That is a burning after test, then stomach upset and uh, coffee. Right? Moving towards the precautions and warnings. So the black people or people, it should be avoided in the pregnancy because of there might be chances of the abortion. It should be avoided for the breastfeeding. It is not safe to the children. So it should not be given to the children. It should be avoided in the bleeding condition because uh, the condition is going to be frozen because it comprises the mainly the chemical constituent that is the piperine, which is going to slow down the clothing. Then it should be avoided in the surgery. The paper may cause bleeding complications or affect blood sugar levels during the surgery. So don't take paper in amounts greater than those in a food two weeks before surgery. So these are the precautions and warnings for the paper. Right? Whatever the things are there, it is due to the chemical constituent which is present in the paper that is known as the piperine. That is known as the piperine. Right? Maybe you have studied the piperine in the medicinal chemistry or the organic chemistry. Right? Moving towards the drug interactions of the paper, the very first drug interaction related to the lithium. So the paper, it is having the ability to reduce the clearance of the lithium. Lithium is a drug which is going to be used in the bipolar mania. Right? So let us see the drug interactions of the paper. So paper decreases the clearance of lithium and increases the concentration of lithium in the body and causes serious side effects. Why this drug interaction is important? Because of lithium, it is having a narrow therapeutic window. And if there is a small change in the concentration of lithium, that may lead to the serious toxicity. And people, it is having the ability to decrease the clearance of the lithium. And one should not combine the paper with the lithium. The second drug interaction related to the paper and antidiabetic drug, as you know that the paper contains the piperine, the major chemical constituent, which is going to reduce the blood sugar levels. Then antidiabetic medications also, they are going to reduce the blood sugar levels. So when we are combining the paper with the antidiabetic medication, that may lead to the decrease in the plasma sugar level and furthermore which leads to the hypoglycemic crisis. So one should not combine the paper with the antidiabetic drug. For example, glimipiride, gliburide, insulin, pioglitazine and uh, rosiglitazone. So these are the some of the drugs should not be combined with the piperine. Then the paper or piperine slow down the blood clotting. You know that the certain anticoagulants or antiplatelet drugs like uh, heparin, aspirin, warfarin, clopidogrel, inoxaparin, and uh, ticlopidine. These are the drugs which are being used as a anticoagulant or the antiplatelet. So when we are combining the paper with the, these drugs, there might be chances of increase the risk of bruising and the bleeding. So one should not combine the paper or piperine with the anticoagulants and the antiplatelet type of drug. Then the paper or piperine with the cyclosporine. So the piperine might increase the levels of the cyclosporine in the body. So as a theory, taking a black paper with the cyclosporine, which might increase the effects and side effects of the cyclosporine. So one should not combine the paper or paper related product with the cyclosporine. Underlying mechanism is not known. Then the next type of drug interaction with the paper or piperine, that is the enzyme inhibition. There are four types of the enzymes are there, which are going to be inhibited by the paper. Very first one, that is CYP1A1. Second one, CYP2B1. Third one, CYP2D6. And fourth one, CYP3A4. So here, these are the enzymes which are responsible for the metabolism of drug. 
and paper or paper related products they are having the ability to inhibit these enzymes there are certain drugs are there which are going to be metabolized by the these enzymes so their concentration is going to be increased and that may leads to the further rise in the pharmacological action or the side effects of the drugs so the first one substrate cy p1 a1 inhibition so black pepper inhibits the metabolism of chlorazoxazone theophylline and bupirol which might increase its effects and the side effects by inhibition of the substrate cy p1 a1 then the second drug interaction related to the enzyme inhibition by the pepper that is substrate cyp to b1 inhibition so black pepper inhibits the metabolism of the cyclophosphamide ephosphamide and the barbiturate which might increase its effects and the side effects due to inhibition of substrate cyp to b1 the third type of drug interaction in the enzyme inhibition that is inhibition of substrate cyp to d6 so black pepper is having the ability to inhibit the metabolism of amitriptylin codein desipramine flecainide haloperidol imipramine metoprolol ondansetron paroxetin respiridone tramadol and mm -hmm. venlafaxine which is going to increase the effects of these drugs and uh, their side effects the fourth type of inhibition drug interaction which is related with the cyp3a4 substrate inhibition so black pepper inhibits the metabolism of lovastatin ketoconazole itraconazole flexofenadine and the uh, triazolam which might increase its effects and the uh, side effects in short if you can see the pepper or black pepper or related products they are going to inhibit the drug metabolism the substrates which are involved in the inhibition that is the cyp1a1 cyp2 b1 cyp2 d6 and cyp3 a4 so one should not combine the pepper or pepper related product with the drugs which are being metabolized by these substrates so this is about the enzyme inhibition by the pepper or pepper related then the furthermore the medications moved by the pumps in the cells that is a p glycoprotein substrate as you know that the various drugs or more than 60% of drugs which are being given by the oral route of administration and one of the pumps which is responsible for the absorption of a drug is a p glycoprotein substrate and piperin or the pepper is having the ability to reduce the activity of the p glycoprotein substrate and thereby improves the absorption of many drugs like etoposide paclitaxel vinblastine vincristine vindesin ketoconazole itraconazole amprinavir indinavir nalfenavir sacminavir simitidine ranitidine diltiazim verapamil digoxin corticosteroid erythromycin cisapride then the fexofenadine cyclosporine iopyramide and quinidine so that may leads to the increase in the plasma concentration of these drugs furthermore their pharmacological effects and the side effects right then furthermore the pepper or the its a related products they are going to enhance the absorption of etoposide paclitaxel vinblastin vincristine digoxin corticosteroid and amoxicillin by deactivating various pumps in the body there are few of the drugs are there their absorption is going to be increased by the pepper from the gastrointestinal tract for example propranolol rifampicin theophylline phenytoin and the carbamazepine here i have listed the thing drugs separately because uh, propranolol is a drug isn't it which is going to be used as a antihypertensive rifampicin is a drug which is going to be used as an antitubercular theophylline is a drug which is being used as antihistamine and uh, phenytoin and carbamazepine it is going to be used as antiepileptic drug might be they are having the narrow therapeutic indices and uh, that's why one should monitor the 
drug levels from the systemic circulation when we are combining the paper with the these drugs. So these are the some of the drug interactions of the paper. So in short, in this part we have discussed the synonym of paper, then the biological source, chemical constituents, use as side effects, and the drug interaction of the paper. So these so these are the certain references which I have referred for preparation of the presentation and slides. Thank you.